evening viewers, on tonight's show we have got Mr Matthews. Good evening. Mr Matthews is a football expert, and so am I I guess. Yeah, that's right. On tonight's show, if you want to revel in nostalgia, why not join us and take a trip down memory lane as we talk about the 70s football, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's right. No, match of the day, great programme. Um, years ago, was it on ATV they used to have a football programme? Yeah, Star what? Soccer. Star Soccer, that's right, yeah. yeah. It was on ATV and uh, there were some memorable matches. Um, Hugh Johns was a commentator and yeah. there was an ex Wolves hero, Bob, uh, Billy Wright. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and Gary Newbond. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were the days. Those were the days, weren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Games included. You know, fixtures featuring um, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Coventry, West Bromwich Albion, yeah, it was great stuff. Whether it was match of the day or star soccer, there were some great games. Do you remember that Ernie Hunt goal for Coventry City against Everton wearing their orange shirts and blue shorts? When in a free kick, Willie Carr put the ball between his feet and flicked it upwards into the air for Ernie to volley it into the right hand corner of the goal. Do you remember? Brilliant goal! Shame that it was disallowed. In fact, I think it was the best goal never to be scored. Yeah. Do you remember the snowbound pitches in the 70s? So many great players. Do you remember Crazy Horse? Yes, yes. Viewers, that was the nickname for Emlyn Hughes, yeah. He was a brilliant player for Liverpool. You remember Kevin Keegan during his playing career? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember Manchester United not being in the top flight of football for one season in the early 70s? Now let's see, it was the 1974-75 season, yeah. Hard to believe. Do you remember Carlisle United being in the old Division 1 for one season? I sure do, I remember as though it was yesterday. Do you remember, um, it was the Saturday the 24th of August 1974, they sat pounding on top of the first division. Oh, that's incredible. They won their first three games, viewers, a lot of you will remember that, yeah. I remember somebody commenting on television, it must have been match of the day, that you could see sheep from the terraces. Amazing. Wow. Now, in 1976-77 season, do you know who my favourite team was? No. Brecon City. I don't know why. I, I suppose I just felt a bit sorry for them. They finished second from bottom of the Scottish Second Division, yeah? The following season, mine, they did even worse. They finished bottom of that league. Mind you, the old firm were in charge. Celtic and Rangers were there in 76-77. They were first and second, respectively. And guess who was third? Aberdeen. That's correct. And the Scottish Footballer of the Year was, yeah, Danny McGrain, remember him, of Celtic? Do you remember other great players, let me see, for Scotland? Um, Andy Gray, Eddie Gray, Kenny Dalgleish, yeah, Bruce Rioch, Don Masson, Gordon McQueen, Ace Hartford, yeah? Yeah, it takes me back. Brilliant stuff. I could go on talking about this all, all evening. So good, Brilliant, brilliant. Well, good night, viewers, so... Yeah, good night. Thank you, yeah, great.